Someone is stealing my stuff. Let's try out a little bit of new makeup, a little bit of old makeup. Let's just do makeup. I have this tinted lip balm on right now, but that obviously needs to come off because we need to do makeup and this is not gonna work. No, I don't know about you, but comment and let me know. Are you doing a gloss before you put on your lip products? I just can't imagine. Let me spit. I still love the MAC Prep and Prime lips, so that's what I use to prime my lip. I just wish they would bring me back my good old elf, but they acting up. I haven't used Fenty Soft Lit in so long, so let's do it, because come on, my skin is feeling really dry, and we already know, at least I recall this shade being really good for me. This is for, oh, 485. Yeah, because I wear 485. The Pro Filter too, right? It's been a minute, you feel me? It's been a whole, Ooh. Yo, comment let me know, are you rough with your brushes? Especially when I wash them, I am so rough with these brushes. It be feeling like they're gonna, they're gonna fall apart. <laughs> This is the Morphe E63. I mean, it still works really well, but why you gotta act like that? You're so annoying. Okay, let's blend in 485. Yes, lovely. We're matching neck and chest because I do so much to my skin on my face that it's not gonna match my neck and chest. I exfoliate, I'm, you know, using retinol and other kind of exfoliating products. We just ain't got time, you feel me? So it's gonna be lighter, which is okay. Now what I love, I'm reminded, what I love about this Fenty Soft Lit is it's gonna give you hydration. I have a breakout on my forehead if you can or cannot see. And whenever I break out, if you're new, my skin feels really dry as it's repairing itself. And right now we are in the repair stage. I recently stocked up on an eyeshadow primer from Ulta because it's been a minute since I've consistently used a primer. Who remembers the day when I used to prime my eyes using the white pot? What was it called? It wasn't Paint Pot. Paint Pot is, is MAC. The white eyeshadow, was it? What was it? I don't even know. It was, it was, I know it was plain stark white and it was from Elf Cosmetics and it worked. I forget what it was called. I wonder if they still have those. This was a lot of product. I didn't recall that I didn't need three pumps because I just haven't used it in a long time. So two pumps of this will go a long way. And look at the glow. The skin is looking so awake. I almost said the skin is looking so hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, that doesn't make no sense. This kid is looking awake. And that's why I was gonna say hello because it's giving hello, like awake. I said that already. Mm -hmm. Like about the excess, okay. And then I wanna get around where the lines are so that it blends into the face and doesn't look crazy. And I'm not worried about the lines around my hairline because I'm gonna contour, so that doesn't matter. At least not right now. I'm gonna use a Gucci concealer. This is the shade 54W Deep. Now I could stand to use a lighter shade of this, I recall, because it wasn't very light. I wish more would come out, although this is a very skinny wand, perhaps that was intentional. And the, the packaging is really pretty, so there's that. Now, what's my... soaked my sponge and forgot it at the sink. Okay, we are gonna get all the excess off cause that's important. This is a cutesy sponge from Makeup Forever. I've never used this before. Let's give it a try. If you have, let me know. Also all products will link down below. Make sure you follow me on all socials. You can scan this QR code on your camera if you're watching this on the TV and then you can get access to all the products that I'm using. They're always linked down below as well. All right, this is blending nicely. I like the way this feels. It feels legit it's not how you say it it's not lightly porous that is not accurate but you get what i'm saying it's a little bit dense but not in a bad way because some of these sponges are too dense and it'd be feeling like can you squeeze like can you stop can you move do you have any flexibility to you all right yeah this shade is very natural and that is not what i want so we're gonna do the elf camo situation in a shade deep chat <laughs> i almost said chestnut deep chestnut hi how are you we're gonna focus right there this shade is really pretty it's not light enough. Maybe I would have needed a 52 or something, but I already bought it, you know? And I wonder when I first used it, if it was light enough for me. You might think, oh, it's great. If you prefer a highlight that is not too light, then you're gonna think that. But you know, I like my highlight to be really light. You feel what I'm saying? See, even the nose, not light enough. It's just not. I gotta use the deep chest now. I'm going easy because it can really easily go low. <laughs> I think I took too much, but... We are gonna see, okay, we are gonna pinch and go right over here. Oh no, it's melt, it's blending in nicely. It is not overkill, okay. Now this has had a chance to sit. Is it gonna give me lighter coverage? We'll see, likely not. And yeah, it looks very natural. Let's take, I don't think I even, I don't think I have enough left over. No, it's not light enough. Let's go here. And then with the left over, I'll go under my cheek. But look, this blended so well that I can't even see it anymore. What? <laughs> We are taking a lot more, okay. I haven't done this combination in a minute, so I didn't know how it was gonna look. Now that's a lot. Let's put this down. I don't wanna get too handsy over here. And we're gonna blend it. Look, you gotta make your face all kind of ways. Hold on, uh-uh. And then with leftover, we're going under the cheek, okay? Right to the side of the mouth. Yes, because when I contour, I need that to be carved out. 
out, all right? And normally I do this, but now that I have this double situation, how's that gonna go? Hmm. What are your favorite concealers? You gotta come in, let me know. I'm putting together a list for you. And I just wanna know before I make that video what some of your favorite concealers are because I, I mean, I have the ones I like, but I obviously have not tried every concealer under the sun. So if you have some tried and trues, honey, let me know. Cause even this Gucci one, y'all mentioned it a while ago and I bought it a while ago. I do like it, I just, I just didn't get the right shade. I didn't get the right shade. Let me know some of your favorite formulas. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is all mine, honey. I got a silk press last week, Saturday, okay? And today's Wednesday, and it's still holding on strong. Today I put her in a ponytail because it's just too hot. I wasn't leaving her out anyway. I really just needed a trim, and I wanted a trim done dry on straightened hair. So that's why I got the silk press, okay? Praise the Lord. Now we're gonna contour, and then we're gonna set all of that together, okay? If you do your makeup with me, let me know. If you're just watching for leisure also, <laughs> let me know. All right, this is OIS. I just can't get over it. I mean, I know over the years I've had some faves. Where are they? I don't even know. I didn't keep them. I've tried some other ones but you just go back to what's good for you, you know? I'm trying to look, I don't see anything. Not gonna work. Yeah, not gonna work. No one no one made it. No one made it past this way. So this is the bronze toa. They call it a bronze toa, bronze contour. You feel me? And this is the shade worthy. And it just works for me. So why would I change it? You gotta give me something else that's gonna be better. The shade just has to be better. And I have not come across that. So here I am taking a slimish type. I can't explain it, but let me show you the shape of this brush because what I'm trying to say to you is this is the shape of the brush that I'm using to do my nose. And I'm putting some on the back of my hand or inside of my hand first, right? Because I don't want it to be too pronounced. And then we're going to start off right here in the beginning of the brow and then go down. The reason why I took some of the product off in my hand is because I don't want this to be harsh. That's not the intention. Though I want there to be a shadow, I don't want it to be harsh. So in order to be in control, I put it on my hand. That's the makeup artist in me. And then I go onto the face and I do it. Y'all, I was watching this TikTok and it's a makeup artist who was doing her skits on some of the craziest stuff that she's heard doing bridal makeup. And yo, when I'm looking at that, although funny, I don't miss any of that. Like, what you mean you wanna come to do makeup with me, but you have a million critiques on the way I do makeup. And then you're telling me you don't wanna look like you have makeup on. So what are you doing here? Why are you even here is my question. Like, get out of my chair. I, I hate that you're even sitting in front of me. If you don't like makeup, makeup, you don't even like how I do makeup. Why are you here? Then you wanna come and tell me what to do. You, did you not look at my page? It, oh my God, it was just so funny. I mean, she was having fun with it and it, it's a funny video, it was going viral. I thought it was just so, it, it's just it's just way too true. This is Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. I'm gonna clean my brushes as I go and put it into this container. You don't wanna see this container. It's a Tupperware, mm-hmm. Tupperware that I keep right here. I only use it for this purpose and then I can clean my brushes as I go along. So we've done that. Now let's blend out the contour. Let's use this Rare Beauty one, rare, I say rare beauty one, rare beauty. Eesh. I just made myself say the same thing, rare beauty one. Okay, we're gonna start over here. And normally I would not leave my contour to sit here this long, but it's not a problem. It's not the end of the world. It's gonna blend. That's how creamy this product is. And I told you before, I'll remind you it's L-Y-S, it's not LIS. And it stands for love yourself. So love yourself beauty, okay? We're gonna love ourselves, praise the Lord. What I'm doing these days, <laughs> getting into my <laughs> what psychiatrist voice. What I'm doing these days to love myself is moving slower than usual. I thought about that as a mom. I and, I, and then it was corroborated by a TikTok. I had already gotten this in my mind that hurried children become very anxious. Think about it. If it's always, come on, come on, come on, you gotta go, we're late. What are you doing, where's your shoes? Where's your backpack? Why aren't you ready? <gasps> You're gonna create anxiety in your child and I get it, sometimes it's hard and sometimes we are late to where we're going, but I had already thought about this on my own because I'm like, nah, I don't even, I don't even like how it feels. Cause then I get in the car and I just feel the tension and then he's not happy and then don't even dare be like, what's wrong? You never know what's wrong. You were just yelling at him. You feel what I'm saying? So no, I don't like that. It doesn't feel good to do it and I can't even imagine feeling like that on the receiving end. So I was telling myself, no, we need to move slower. And in order to move slower, you need to what? Get up earlier. Hello, praise the Lord. So we can be doing that kind of stuff, praise the Lord. And that is the way that I'm loving myself because then I'm not stressed and then passing that on because it's just not fair. Kids don't deserve that. Okay, this is also from LYS. These are new. I've got their, what's the name? I don't know the name, but these are loose setting powders. You know how sometimes it has to be like setting, uh, matte, setif setifying, patifying, whatever, whatever fine, you know, I don't see that name here. Let's 
let's use brilliance okay this is banana because the other one looks to match my skin tone so we're not gonna do that i'm gonna set immediately under my eye where the lines are they're inevitable they're not gonna go away and in the meantime we're gonna just do what we can to set them you know oh this is cute i love how they have this triangle okay so let me get my brush ready because what you want to do is have the brush ready before you put the powder on it i'm taking a small brush this is a sephora 19 one because i just want to get right up in here no longer do i set my whole under eye with a matte powder i just don't have any interest in that anymore. I like my under eye to be luminous. Cause hello, I'm not a small girl. <laughs> I'm not a small girl, you know. So let's take some of this product, okay? And go right here. You gotta make your face. I feel like it just it just helps. You feel me? Like just do your face like this. It just does something, you know. And right under there where them lines are, where the wisdom lines are. Okay, we don't hate these lines. This is a sign of wisdom. Okay, you've been through some stuff. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. So there's that. But you know what? While we're here, let's take this and go in the other end. You've missed my singing, haven't you? Of course you do. I'm gonna set my under eye. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for I'm looking for a man in finance. No, I'm looking for my situation, but it ain't here because this situation is different. You hear me? If you are not new, you know what I just said. I don't even need to explain myself. Ah, you know what I just said without me even having to go too deep. You feel me? This is the L Cosmetics Halo Glow Setting Powder. It's medium. Mm -hmm, that one. All links below. Yes, I'm gonna use this brush to do that. Nice fluffy. Just get it right up in here. It's loose. And we're gonna apply with this, what's this brush? Brea Beauty, okay. Just a nice fluffy situation. It's not as luminous as my other joint, the Huda, mm -hmm, that one. But this is really good in this drugstore. You feel, I need more product, hi, where are you? Let's get this right up in here, okay? And you might be thinking, wait, why is this blood, like this brush is so fluffy? Is it getting where we need it to go? Yes, it is. And because I already tackled the fine lines, that was my main concern under the eyes. Everything else, it just needs to be in the area. You can still see my fine lines, why? Because I'm human, okay? And we have expression and I'm grown. So the way that I conceal that is with a smoky eye we'll get to that in a little bit all right so we did that part with this same brush i'm going to go this is really huge but that's okay we're gonna make it work okay i'm trying these days not to use so many brushes so taking this brilliance color from lys yeah it melts nicely okay good oh yeah it melts nicely because you know there's some banana powders what i mean very yellow whereas this i mean this is translucent i mean wow this is giving translucent. I'm gonna be a little eco-friendly and use this same brush to apply my powder contour. This is Rich 660N from Elf Cosmetics because why not, right? <laughs> I used to take a different brush at this point and I mean, yes, I could, I have so many, but why? So let's just do this. Now, I have to remember that this brush was used for this. I don't know if I can use it for, well, I'm, I don't know that I'm even gonna do powder blush. I was just thinking out loud. I could have used this for my powder blush as well because I like for my blush to blend in with my contour, but I'm likely gonna do a cream contour, so that doesn't matter. All right, and I'm just talking this through with you out loud in case you like to use as little brushes as possible. That's how you can think about it. Start off with the darkest color first, if it's gonna be the, the contour and the blush situation. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> Leftovers going under my chin. I don't want this to be so defined, but it does something. You can see it a little. We're just getting a little bit of shadow, you know? And then I'm gonna do the face powder. I, I want to try this on my face, but then again, it's so light that I don't know what it would do. This is the other one from LYS. The shade is Loyalty Deep. I don't, I don't want that because my face powder, I like to give me a little bit of coverage. You feel me? Then again, how does that differ from using this four color, what? This four collection micro smooth because this is light too. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. <gasps> Am I just canceling out what I just said? Maybe, I mean, hello, it's possible. Okay, I'm gonna use this Sephora 59 brush. It looks a little bit like the one I just used, but this one's different. This is the shade Espresso, and I'm applying this wherever I don't have the contour, and this is gonna tie it all together, make sure nothing is ashy, but really, this whole combination, meaning the foundation, the concealer, is looking pretty natural. If I forgot to put on this face powder, I would look fine. I mean, that's what I think. What do you think? Comment and let me know. <laughs> I think it'd look fine. And that's how I be forgetting to put my face powder on sometimes because it just be, it be coming together so well that I'd be like, wait, I don't even need that. We're gonna go back and reinforce this contour. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just going over it with the brush that I used earlier. However, I wanna add more contour to my cheek, but do I? Maybe I don't need to. I'm seeing a glow. 
glare on this side. So it's just distracting me. You probably think it looks fine. Okay, let's see. Do I have a new blush? I don't be getting a lot of blushes that match me. That's the problem. Or that I like, you feel me? It got a match and I gotta like it. We're gonna do Old Faithful, although it feels so strange because of the way that this sponge is. This is Golden Hour from Dennis and Myricks. We're gonna do a new eye look. Well, we're gonna use some new eye products today that I'm looking forward to. And hopefully you are too. You gotta give it a little smile for your blush, okay? Mm -hmm. And just get this right up in here. I wanted to blend with my contour. And here we go. I need an orange. I'm so irritated. I don't know what happened to my Patrick Stoss. Somebody is legit stealing my things right in front of me, right underneath me. <laughs> and I don't even get, I don't even give it a so where am I to, is there a mouse <laughs> stealing my blush? Like, where is it? I had the orange trio duo quattro, quattro and I don't know where it is. I'm so irritated by that. All right, this is looking pretty, although I won't lie to you. I would love for this to be more pronounced, but this is cute. It looks so natural. I don't be liking everything natural. I like it to be vroom. <laughs> Wait, that was more of a, of a of a of a car. I just did a car sound with an animal sound. That didn't work. That was more of a row. <laughs> but that doesn't sound threatening. That was more of a roar. I got actually more of a roar, you know? I'm just trying to practice sounding like an animal. This is this is really not going the direction it needs to go in right now. I'm gonna amplify this contour because now I see too much blush. It still just needs to be dark. I need the shadows on my body to show on my face. That's when I know that it looks more natural. You feel me? We're just replicating what's on our body. At least on mine. <laughs> How does that look? I feel my face looks so natural. I don't like that. I need more drama. <laughs> Let's take it back to this Fenty Beauty Killer Wop Freestyle Highlighted Duo. I'ma use this side, Mo Honey, you feel me? Is that what I used last time? Hold on, I don't remember. Okay, let's start off with Afternoon Snack and then let's build up to Mo Honey. I don't remember, oh yeah. Afternoon Snack looks good. Ooh, so if I use Mo Honey, we'd be, girl, I don't know what it would be. It'd be too bright. <laughs> All right, so afternoon snack right there. Look, you can just layer it up, build it up, and here we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love that. I love doing the chin. It just does something for me, you know? We're gonna just blend out any harsh edges. And though this looks crazy, it's gonna come all together when I line my lips. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so great. So I'm gonna clean my fingers off because no need. Now the nose is looking very pronounced. So we could fix that up a little bit if you so please. You feel me? Take that same brush, leftover product, not adding anything new. Look, I'm not even a lefty, but I'm doing what I can. <laughs> we gonna fix that up, you feel me? If the highlight is just too wide, go ahead and do that. Brows are on, highlighted the whole nine yards. Don't forget, these are my brows, my prerogative. You do yours how you wanna do yours, praise the Lord. And I'm gonna use this Juvia's Place, the Chocolates palette. I remember when I decluttered, I got rid of so many things. Had to restock on a few, so I got this, and I'm gonna use the reddish brown color, which you know I love to use and this is the Hourglass 14 brush. Now I was gonna do a, this is darker than I recall. Wow, this is darker than I expected actually. Oh, I could use a lighter reddish brown right here. Ooh, this is really pretty. I, I have not used this so long, I just forgot. I was gonna do an eyeshadow base, but then I was reminded that the product that I'm gonna use from Hard Candy is liquid, so there's no need for me to even try to put an eyeshadow base down, doesn't make any sense. This is gonna be almost like a base, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow. I've never used it before, so hopefully it comes out on the way that I'm expecting it to. Yeah, this brown could really go all over my lid. This is darker than I thought. So then this darker color I was planning on using, it's gonna be looking real dark. Wait, that just threw me for a loop. Let me see. All right, let's take the Huda Chocolate Palette and take this reddish brown, because I want this to be lighter right here. Okay, it's a little bit brighter. You might be thinking, uh, it looks the same. I see a small difference, okay? It, it makes a little difference. So I wanted it more on the reddish brown side. Oh, I got this on my eyebrows, I can see it. <laughs> And then I move into a darker shade. It's just, it's a buildup, you feel me? This is an old e.l.f. brush that I'm gonna use, tap off the excess and get right underneath here, get that reddish brown going. And then I'm gonna do the Juvia's Place chocolate situation. This is a Mario EF2 brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of that darker color because I need to build this up. This is gray. I'm gonna use it to line. Cause I just feel like, watch, let me see. It's gonna be looking almost, almost black, right? Okay. All right, I did that softly. It actually works. I just did it a little bit soft because I need there to be a difference between this and the lid color that I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm doing this very softly. This color is very dark, a lot darker than I remember it. I mean, I bought it online. I, I didn't touch it. It's been a while. And I had it delivered the same day from Ulta. Yo, it feels so odd putting eyeshadow on without a primer. Yo, I never used to do this. Crazy. I guess when you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. Okay, you just know. If you know, you just know. It probably looks like nothing to you right now, but there's something there. <laughs> 
This is something there, you feel me? And then right under the eye, same color. It's gonna end up being like a little cut crease situation. These are the two shades that I have from Hard Candy. If I used anything from this Bambi Flow, I'm not sure. The dark brown one is rich and then this next one is Halo. Though I feel like this is gonna be too light and I wanted to put this in my crease, but a liquid in the crease doesn't work for me. This I will try as an all over smoky eye look, although I have this one. Let's do cake because I feel like this one's gonna look really pretty. It's a nice blush, you feel what I'm saying? So let's go right here. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. It's a cool muted look. Is this a, yo, you know what I would throw up from is if this is for the lip. Cause it doesn't say on the container, on the package. And I already threw away the box. I just opened it quickly. If this is a lip product, I would throw up. I think it's for the eye, right? I mean, they sent so many colors. It has to be for the eye. Okay, here we are. Well, we're here now. It looks very wet in a great way. We're gonna just go in right here, three quarters of the way. Ooh, I just messed that up. Look at me, oh. All right, and I'm turning it over to the other side and then doing that. No need to waste, right? When you dip it in and take it out, you've got product on both ends of this stick. This has to be for the eye. Look, I just be jumping right in on these things, yo. This feels nice and creamy. This one applied a lot better because the line is not so harsh. Let me go back over this. Maybe I had too much product on it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what is going on? Mm, 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 mm. Let's see what we could do because this is the issue. <laughs> With less product on the brush, it's more smudging, which is a good thing. I'm smudging right now so that there's no harsh line. I think this looks good. Is it gonna dry though? What's going on? Hold on, let me Google this. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> okay, it's, a, it's an eyeshadow stick. All right, hard candy eyeshadow stick. <laughs> yes. Moods Shadow Paint Cream Eyeshadow Stick. I love it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because it's so creepy. When do you plan on drying? I mean, wow. Are you gonna dry today? I like this color a lot though. Ooh. I'm still taking the chocolates palette. Let's get some of this brown on the side, okay? To blend it. Ooh, I should have blended my finger then. Why is it just staying there? Ooh, shoot. Okay. Take your finger to blend the harsh edges. Ooh, okay, it's drying. Uh-oh. I wasn't thinking. And I applied this side without blending it. So, <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right, let's see if we can somehow, some way blend this and not make it look so crazy. Should have smudged that edge on the other side. Okay, now it's drying and now my eyelid feels a little bit stiff. Okay, I see. Okay, now it's dry. Man, it just feels, it's, it's dried matte. It just makes my eyelid feel so stiff. You feel what I'm saying? Like when something is just so dry, it's kind of stiff. What it feels like right now. I'm taking that darker shade in the Juvia's palette and I'm gonna use it to line my eyelid. Now oh, this might not be dark enough, is it? Mm, it's more gray. Okay, it's cool. I'm pressing onto the eye. I think it looks pretty. What do you think? Hey, lashes on here. This is my favorites, my old faithfuls. Oh, I gotta do button mascara. I love this mascara from Estee Lauder. This is their Turbo Lash Mascara. And I'm gonna use this, I've been using this Huda Heart Mirror several times because Hello, we gotta get right up in here. This mascara is so good. Wiggle left and right, I'll go under and go on top, and you're good to go, baby. Wiggle left and right, under and on top. And I love for my lashes to look thick full voluminous nothing flimsy okay now we'll report that now that the eyeshadow has really dried it doesn't feel stiff okay so not like it was before i have a good outlook on it now now that it's dried a little bit like it's settled into my skin a little bit now let's do lip liner this is lys again it's a speak love smooth glide lip pencil this is the shade devoted now i remember using this a while ago and i wish it was a twist up but despite that this shade is really good now the i almost said widow's peak that's up here now the point is just it's more perfect because I used the liner to perfect it, you feel me? So let's go ahead and use this Drugstore Lippy. This is Nude Intense 178, and this is by L'Oreal. And I can see I've used this before, and I feel that like I loved it because I kept it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a peachy nude. Yes. Oh, I like this. I love a good Drugstore Lippy. I love this shade. You know, there'd be some pinks. There'd be some whatevers. There'd be some whatevers. But this is pretty... <laughs> It's beautiful because it's a peach. I love this. And if you're noticing a highlight on my cheek, I did this off camera. This is the Rare Beauty Joy Powder Blush. And that is what is highlighting. And I don't normally do this, but I did it today. And I really like what it's doing when I turn my face. On the body, let's do Tom Ford Soleil Neige. I've never used this, so let's spray it. Okay, it's light. I like that it's a spray. Less mess, but again, you do have to rub it in, so it's like, okay, you're gonna touch it at some point. Ooh. Now the body glowing, all right. 
Well, I had fun filming this video. Hopefully you had fun watching it. All links are down below as well. Here is the QR code. Scan it with your phone if you're watching this on television. And I will see you in the next video. I'll give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe.